Uh, you know, I think I'm going to bring it right over to Alibaba and down only 1.3 percent. I know this one's saying that it's, it's barely down. Yeah. Uh, and this and is you know what? Of... I mean, you look at that first five minute bar or first minute bar, I guess, at this point. And uh, even in the pre-market, it seemed like it was getting some support um, and, and kind of on the way up, you know, so. Yeah. So, I mean, it's one of the things is this actionable here? Is this the thing that because on a weekly chart, you know, actually it was down 2 percent before earnings on the coronavirus. So in some ways it's improved in that regard. OK, you know, Alibaba is going to be down a little bit. Is this viable here? It's it's it closed at three point seven percent above on above the ten week line. It's in this little consolidation. Is this viable? You know, Mike. Um, no, not yet. But if it um, strength uh, gets stronger throughout the day and actually takes out yesterday's high, can we go to the daily chart? Then I think it would look great. You know, of course, this does you know have that China risk still. Um, you know, there's a lot of. But- it has a lot of China risk, but the fact that having the earnings behind it and sure. with the CEO coming out and saying what Ken had said, you know, if they're being upfront and honest saying, hey, look, this is a black swan, it's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I like that type of response, especially from China, which is, you know, um, you know, I'm going to leave that alone, but because <laughs> I don't want them to come kill me. Um, but if it takes out yesterday's high, I'd probably be buying this one here. But I, I just wanted to, you know, um, I don't like buying on weakness. You know, lots of people do like buying on weakness. I, I just don't like buying red bars. In right. Mm-hmm. 